Guns that I had before I came in here. Can't remember. Well, hey everyone. I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Halo 3 DST. Last time we did a Dutch's mission, Uplift Reserve. Uh, this time we're going to do some more city exploration. Wait, hold on. Hey, look at that. So on the top of my screen, you can see this like Skyrim compass. But on the on the map of my like on the on the readout of my gun, you can see it decreasing as I shoot. And now it says twenty six. There's also a little compass that actually links up with it. So if you have your HUD off but weapons on, you can still see where you're going, which is useful. I like that. A lot of games have just like destroyed people's sense of direction because they just are too handholdy about it. Like I uh, I, I was watching Germa recently. Hey everyone, uh, so, <clears throat> excuse me, I just ate a sandwich. So, uh, I just, uh, the disk space on my PC filled up again, which is now the third time that this has happened as I record this, but as you see it, this could have happened several more times. So hell if I know. In the meantime, I uh, took a break for about two-ish days. I record some other LPs. I cleared a whole bunch of shit off my PC. Which, by the way, I could in fact still be doing, but I really just wanted to play more ODST. Um, like, I almost want to call off the LP just so I can play more ODST in my own time. I love this game. I was talking about it with a friend, but... um. One of the things about it is that... Okay, fine. You can just see me, I guess. There we go. Sorry, I'm trying to finesse these fools. So one of the things about it is that, um... Thinking back, there were more moments that I really remembered from ODST than I remembered from Halo 3. And back in the day when I was a little baby opera junior, I actually didn't play uh, Halo 2 because I only had a 360. Okay, now I guess we go back and get this thingy. So yeah, it's just a game that, like, it's so much better than people... Nope. There we go. Give it credit for. But it's also superior than a lot of Halo games, honestly. Like, it's, it's weird, and, like, it's probably because I'm pretty much always a contrarian, but this might end up being one of my favorite Halo games. Maybe even my favorite. There we go, four. I might try to beat this game on Legendary, and mark my words here, I've actually already said this to some of my friends, but if I ever beat a Halo game on Lasso... Mythic difficulty, legendary all skulls on. I will get that tattooed. Oh, is this functioning? Nah. Some of these are functioning, I seem to remember. There are some levels where you can go through the streets on a uh, go ast. Remember reach, fuck yeah. How much much of this game was just longer? And like, granted, to play the actual game is uh, one of the short parts of it, but to... I know that I'm going away from the objective, by the way. I'm exploring. 
I'm having a good time. Sue me. But to... Gotta get closer. Come on. There we go. Oh, it's a engineer. Unfortunately, I'm currently honor bound to not kill them. Is that dude cloaked? Sure is. Okay, let's try and strafe. Come on. Come on. Oh, jeez. Trying to not kill the engineers. There's an achievement for it, but the thing is, the nature of uh, video games is that you're meant to shoot the medic first. Okay. You know, if I hadn't crouched, it wouldn't have been a problem. Okay. Yeah, it's here where my uh, problems with a shotgun begin to shine. Yep, just do a little ring around the rosy. You know, how about we try some of these? Yeah? What do you guys did of that, huh? Oh, Jesus. You know, I could also just go the other way. Let's give it one more try, though. There we go. This could be problematic. Alright, just need to not let my health get down too low and I'll be fine, right? Dude, the rookie's shouts are so funny sometimes. What's? Oh, that was a flashbang. I, I was being flashbanged, but they were far away. Oh, man. Don't know if that's possible without killing the NG, so I'm just going to turn around and go the other way. Gotta sneeze, everyone. I'm very sorry. <coughs> ah, fuck. I might be getting sick. I shouldn't sneeze like that. It hurts my chest. I just try to get it all out in like a shotgun blast, but that's not uh, healthy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Is there even a button to use equipment in this game? Not really. Okay. Well, now that I've wasted everyone's time with a useless detour that amounted to nothing. I was talking with my brother-in-law about uh, Halo, actually. That's all. It was a good conversation. He's a good kid. Kind of stupid, but you know. Who isn't? Huh? Another thingy. All right. Yeah, TBH, I am, like, itching to play this game again, like, already. I'm in the middle of a playthrough, and I'm like, oh, I want to play this game again. Let's go, Grandma, I want to play it again. Someday I should LP a bad game. 
I spend so much time gushing about the games that I like that like and like that's not a bad thing. But like I imagine that it might be nice to hear a dissenting opinion or Well, that is the shortest way. You know, something from me that isn't, you know, this game's great, everyone should play it, suck my dick. Rest ye well, Hirogok. I think that's the name. Oh, okay. What is this, actually? Is this a memorial? Dead Elite? Yeah. A couple of them. They got some goodies for me. There's so much... Look at this. Like, there's so much on the bottom of this, but, like, my view cuts off here. So I think of the weapon as just being the thing coming out of my arm, but it's got so much down here. All right. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Okay. Now, imagine the uh, point of this area is for me to go and kill the... Uh oh, here we go. Never mind. The engineers. The Huragak, as you prefer. You know, it just blows my mind. This is semi on topic about good games. It blows my mind that people still think Heavy Rain and um, Indigo Prophecy and or Fahrenheit um, are good games. And Beyond Two Souls, for that matter. Like, how are those people so willing to ignore, like, the game itself? Like, those games are not good. A point of the game is like that your choices are supposed to matter but they don't and the game lies to you that they do like there's a really egregious one in uh for those who don't know um the games I refer to ooh, that's a scorpion the games I refer to here are um games by the I believe yeah French uh studio Quantic Dream they are all uh games like The Walking Dead the Telltale one. They're all like Telltale games, honestly. They have a little more polish and uh, more hype. And they came out less frequently, even when Telltale was alive. Rip. But, um... Everyone seems convinced that they're good, and those games are not good. And the main thing is that the guy who writes them, David Cage, cannot write. He can start a story, but he can never, ever finish it. What's up, Virgil? So something that I really like about Virgil, he's unable to actually talk to you, and so he almost has to play charades with the critical game path. All right, there's another door out of here, right? Like, you'll notice that um, he points, like, route open signs at things. All right, I guess I'm backtracking. Hey, guys. See, so yeah, the engineers are actually very, very peaceful. They don't even attack you. You have to start shit with them. And the thing is, normally they would make you the asshole. But they're implicit in Covenant war crimes. Because, you know, they help the Covenant. Of course, for those who haven't played this game, we might see a little change in that. Bro Okay, I'm going to spoil it because I want to talk about it. But I mentioned earlier that, um... Is this the same? No, it's another drop pod. Whose is this? Haha, <laughs> that's funny. I kind of want the silence SMG. Not going to lie. I know that I have full shotgun ammo, but I do like the SMG more. It's it's the oh, it's a dead grunt. 
it's the ODST weapon, you know, it's the it's their trademark. How am I to deny this? Anyway. Yeah, the deal with the engineers is that they're completely neutral in this war. They just happen to work for the Covenant. And when offered a better deal by the humans, they take that deal. And the secret cutscene ending of this game is Sergeant Johnson lighting a cigar for an alien. And possibly the opposite of that. It's one of the two. Glass of this. They're gonna. I've got a brute, got fire bombs. And so what if the ODSTs were told, hey, the engineers are potentially friendly, don't shoot them. And then that gives you an in-game reason to pursue the achievement to not shoot engineers. Because I mentioned that there is in fact a achievement for not shooting the engineers. And that's the main reason why people don't do it because otherwise they're very annoying. All right. Oh yeah, by the way, notice that these are called circles. Like circles of hell, like Dante's Inferno because we're being led by Virgil. Supply cache. Intriguing. I don't remember those. Anyway, do you get it? It's a literary thing. I can I, I talk shit like I can talk, but like I love that. I legitimately appreciate that. As someone who likes Dante. Kind of. Oh, I hear him. Oh boy. Anyway, yeah, it's very stupid that they just were like, yeah, don't tell the ODSTs what they're doing. Wouldn't want them to know that they're you know, doing something extremely important that could alter the course of the war. And of course, them altering the course of the war doesn't matter because in the grand scheme of things, this war is entirely won by Chief. You know, not literally, but... the way that the writing is, is that it's all really for Chief. Anyway, I found the objective, so... and I've been recording too long, so I guess I will start the next episode. Uh, at this thing, so I'll see you guys then. Thanks for coming by. This has been Halo Through ODST, and I've been Alfred. Bye.